Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. You are watching the second episode of Season 2 of the Diamond Commander League. In addition to awesome high power EDH gameplay, players have the ability to earn Highlander points or HP by winning games and accomplishing achievements. Let's check out our players, commanders, and strategies for today's games. We have Spencer playing Villas, Broker of Blood. His goal is to play big black magic, make as much mana as you can, use life loss to draw cards, and then play the best black spells to close out the game. I mean, once you go black, his starting hand includes Toxic Deluge, Slaughter, Thran Dynamo, Castle Lockthwain, Thawing Glaciers, and Two Swamps. We have Carlos playing Sakashima of a Thousand Faces and Kadama of the East Tree. His goal is to play a number of land stacks cards and then eventually spring ahead with Kadama's triggered ability. Once he has lands and his opponents don't, he can beat them up or combo off pretty easily. If one East Tree is amazing, two are groundbreaking. His starting hand includes Nature's Lore, Trade Route, Spring Bloom Druid, Field of Ruin, Ghost Town, an Island, and a Snow-Covered Forest. We have Jason playing Kozilek the Great Distortion. His goal is to use his rocks to get Kozilek out as fast as possible, refill his hand with more gas, and then call in his friends to do some Eldrazi gentrification. Welcome to the Eldrazi Club. You must Annihilator 4 to enter. His starting hand includes Mindstone, Chromatic Lantern, Hedron Archive, Karn the Great Creator, Oblivion Sower, Blasted Landscape, and Sanctum of Eternity. We have John M playing Sram Senior Edificer. His goal is to play Sram, play equipment in Aras, draw cards, and repeat until Sram is blinged out and ready to end some lives. There is no such thing as too much bling. His starting hand includes Cathar's Shield, Prying Blade, Swords to Plowshares, Trusty Machete, Aven Mind Sensor, and Two Plates. If you'd like to see more of our videos, let us know by liking and subscribing to our channel. You won't regret it. With that, let's play! Off turn and play swamp and pass. Draw a card. Snow covered forest and pass turn. Draw. Cryptic caves. Pass turn. I will draw. Planes. Pass. Draw. Play castle Lockthwain. Come in untapped and then I'll pass. Draw for turn. Play an island. We're going to play nature's lore. And I'll go get a forest and put it into play. It'll be done. I will be getting the breeding pool. Not shocked. Wow. And I'm okay. done. Or tap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play the Blasted Landscape Mind Stone. Right. And then I'll be done after that. Draw for turn. Planes, then I'll cast Srams. Whenever oh, yeah. I cast an Aura <laughs> Equipment or Vehicle spell, I draw a card. Cast Cathar's Shield for free, and then draw a card from that. And I will pass turn. Draw for turn, play a Swamp, and then I will cast Bantu's Monument. And I will pass the turn. Draw for turn. I'll play Field of Ruin. I'll play Spring Bloom Druid. I'll select the, the Field of Ruin. And I'll go get yeah, Forest in an Island tapped. I'll be done after that. Draw oh, Thinktum of Eternity. Play another Mana Rock, Hedron Archive. And I'll pass the turn. Heed, move now. Draw for turn. Play the Plains for turn. Cast the Dark Steel Axe. Draw a card. And I'll cast Basilisk Collar with the second one. Draw a card. I will cast my trusty Machete. Draw from that guy. One more piece to Exodia. Is that how this works? Faster. Also... Draw for turn. Together. I'll play Thawing Glaciers. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay, end of turn, I'm going to Worldly Tutor. I'm going to get Manglehorn. Untap. Draw the Manglehorn. Destroying the Basilisk car Collar. <laughs> I will shoot your two mana one there with the mingle horn. In response, I'll float you colorless. I will play a ghost town. Life from the loam. I'll get back this field of ruin. Draw. I'll play a chromatic lantern. Tapped. Yeah. I'll play a lion's eye diamond. Pass the turn. I'll draw. Play planes. We'll take helm of the gods. Play the prying blade. Draw from that guy. Belladar Umbra on Sram. I'll draw cool. from that guy. Pass. Untap and draw. I'll play Thespian Stage. I will cast Erebos, God of the Dead. He costs one less. And when he when I cast creature spell, each opponent loses a life and I gain a life. And then I will use Thawing Glacier's ability to go search for a swamp and to play tapped, and I'll pass after that. And then it bounces the Thawing Glacier. Draw for turn. 
Play Trade Routes. It allows me to bounce lands and discard them to draw cards. I'll play Field of Ruin. I'll tap a land with Trade Routes, pay a mana, and discard it to draw a card. I will discard another land from hand and draw a card. I will play Overburden. Whenever a player casts a creature, they return a land, they control their owner's hand. And I'll be done. Draw, play Herald's Horn, choosing Eldrazi. I'm going to pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play Planes, and I'll cast yes. Transcendent Envoy. I have to bounce a land. Bounce an untapped land. one. <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> 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 it could happen. I'll cast all the glitters on SRAM. It gets 1-1 one, one for each artifact and or enchantment I control. It's still my main phase, so I have 10 on the board. Hooray! I draw a card from that. I'll cast Benevolent Blessing on SRAM. As it enters, I choose a color. The creature has protection from the chosen color, and it doesn't remove ours or equipment that are already attached to it. I'll say need the blue for now. Okay, I'll draw a card from that one. I'll pass. Really? Wow. Draw for turn. I will play Cabal Stronghold. Cast Gilded Lotus, but it comes in tapped. I will pass the turn. Okay, this time I will dredge. One, two, three. I will cast Life from the Loam. These three lands back. Play a Waterlogged Grove for land for turn. Discard a land, draw a card. I'll play Mystic Remora. Discard a land to draw a card. Instead, I'll dredge. One, two, ah, oh, dang it. Three. Cast Life from the Loam. Get these three lands back. Best turn. Upkeep trigger. It is not a creature card. Draw. Oh, I think I tapped this for mana, so I lose a life. And I will cast the Oblivion Sower. I'm going to exile the top four cards of Carlos's library. One, Scoot Swarm. Thawing Glaciers and Secure Tribe Scout. Forest and Thawing Glaciers. Well, for I'll everybody. return my... So you get you get these though, right? I'll play my Blasted Landscape as my land for turn. Doesn't Everyone the glaciers come into play tap? One. You pay for the Remora? No. And I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play the land that I bounced. Cast Swift Foot Boots. Uh, Mr. Remora trigger. I cannot afford it. I'll draw for the boots. Okay, then I will put the boots on to Sram. We'll give him the Helm of the Gods. So he's now a 16. Dang, Gina. That's a big boy. I will move to combat. Throw Sram Spencer's way for 16. At least he doesn't gain life. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yep, I will not gain life. A second main. I'll cast Spider Silk Tent and draw a card. Pass pay, the turn. Pay for Remora, I assume, no? Nope. Draw for turn. Play Thawing Glaciers. I'm going to cast him for Overburden, I'll return Thespian stage. It is triggered. Each oh, point of his life, I gain a life. Then I'll pass the turn. Upkeep, pay for Mr. Cremora, draw for turn. Cast Kadama of the East Tree. Overburden will trigger, and I'll bounce the Ghost Town. And I'll play Misty Rainforest and trigger Kadama. I'll put a Command Tower into play, sacrifice Misty Rainforest. It's a white borderland, because I'm a heathen. They are easier to find. I'll give you that, Jason. And then I'll trigger Kadama, forced into play. And I'll play a Crucible of Worlds. Trigger Kadama, put a forced into play, snow-covered one. That is my turn. Upkeep, trigger my horn, draw that. It's not an all drawsy. Play Nev's Disc. Do you pay? I no, just draw. On it. And then I'll play Karn, the great creator. And then I'm not paying for fish either. I'll pass the turn. In the turn, I'm going to cast swords on Jason's creature. So that's the one that lets me uh, gain life, unless there's an Erebos in play, right? You pay for that one, John. I did not pay for that. Draw for turn. Okay, I'll cast Heliod's Pilgrim. I can search my library for an aura card, reveal it, and put it in my hand. And then I'll bounce and land for that trigger. I will pull Ethereal Armor. I will cast Ethereal Armor on SRAM. Fishy fish. No feed fish. I will swing at Jason for 21. What? <laughs> Told you, Carlos. In response, crack LED, discard my hand, die. I am going to pay to, now that I can equip stuff, I'm going to equip my Transcendent Envoy with the Basilisk Collar so it has Death Touch and Life Link. And then I will pass. End of your turn, I'm going to use Villas' ability twice, paying two life. Give your Transcendent Envoy minus two, minus two, and I'll draw four. Draw for turn. 
play Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx. I'll cast Thran Dynamo. How do you pay? No. Yeah. And I'll cast Necropotence. I think I'm just gonna pass oh, yeah, there and I have to discard a card or it'll get exiled. End of turn, I'll tap one, discard a land to trade routes to draw a card. I'll untap for turn. Um, yeah, I won't pay. I will play a Misty Rainforest from my graveyard with Crucible of Worlds. I'll trigger Kadama and I'll put in Prismatic Vista for his ability. I'm gonna crack both of these, at least two life. Forest I get with Misty Rainforest will be Gingerbread Cabin. Prismatic Vista first, so that'll come into play. I'll put Terramorphic Expanse into play from that trigger. And then the Gingerbread Cabin will come into play. Trigger Kadama, and it'll trigger the Gingerbread Cabin, which says Gingerbread Cabin enters the battlefield tapped unless you control three or more other forests, which I do. So enters untapped. And then when Gingerbread Cabin enters the battlefield untapped, create a food token. That food token will actually trigger Kadama as well, which will let me put Ghost Town into play. I will cast Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. If he comes into play, I will copy the Manglehorn and to shoot the Greaves. Um, that'll trigger Kadama. I'm gonna put a green in my mana pool and then I'll bounce this uh, Gingerbread Cabin. We'll cast uh, Deadeye Navigator. Um, and Soulbond will trigger, and Kadama will trigger, and Overburden will trigger. I'm gonna bounce Field of Ruin with the Overburden, Tantiova into play with uh, Kadama's trigger, and then I will Soul Bond with Sakashima. Yeah, destroy my artifacts. I won't this turn if you don't kill either one. I can't promise past that. Crack. Uh, Terramorphic Expanse. The devil making deals with Simic, is that how this works? Or is Simic making deals with the devil? Get an island to come into play tats. That will trigger Tetiova, Kadama, draw a card and not gain any life. And then I will put a gingerbread cabin into play. Get another food token, which will allow me to put a forest into play, which will allow me to draw a card, pay one, two, and bounce Sakashima, flicker it with Deadeye. He'll come back into play as Kadama. Deadeye? Comes in, it's a Kadama. That will trigger Overburden and this Kadama. Overburden will bounce this gingerbread. This Kadama will allow me to put this gingerbread cabin into play. Yep. So then this one That's triggers curious. from that, and then the food comes into play and triggers both of them. So this one's at one, and this one has two. And then I put one into play, Which and, put at second and trigger triggers to, to this one, and allows me to draw a card. I put this one into play, triggers this one, and allows me to draw a card. So then now I play this one, triggers this one, and then triggers Tatiova. So then I draw from her, put a Fabled Passage into play, triggers this one, draw a card, crack Fabled Passage, go get a island, I take a damage, that'll trigger both of them, I draw a card, I can pay three, cast Haro, sacrifice an island. These two will come into play from Haro. That'll trigger each of these. Draw these two Draw from two Tetiova. From yep. I will tap an island and bounce this to trade routes and then put the island into play with this. So I think that solves it. I think that makes that means I can draw my deck. The land I'm gonna do moving forward will be the gingerbread Oh cabin. yeah. I will tap the cabin for a green, return it to my hand with trade routes, trigger this one, which will put that into play, which will trigger this. The food will then trigger both of them. I'm gaining a food and a trigger with each iteration and drawing a card. We'll, we'll add to this state here in a second. So one, 10, 11, that's something. So 11 more, so this is 16, and this is 15. And this is 15. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. So one, five, okay, another five. Play some lands, right, that I've drawn. For every fourth. second land you play, it resets itself. Four, draw four, one, two, three, four. Put another one in play, draw a card, draw a card. The colony garden comes into play. It's the same thing as the food, except I'm getting a zero one plant. A plant token. I'm just passing on all these zero drop Kadama triggers. The last Kadama one, which is a six drop, I'm going to put Lotus Cobra into play on that one, which triggers Sakashima for a two cost. Will allow me to get a bunch of mana and a creature for each one. Bounce my Colony Garden, the Overburden, from the Lotus Cobra. Colony Garden comes into play from the this trigger. 
but then the token will trigger both of them. Now we're back to as many times as we want, but yeah. each time I also get a mana now. All right, so I'm gonna do that seven more times. I will attempt to use Cyclonic Rift Overload. I'm gonna use the Thine Glaciers with this, just to yeah. go get another Swamp into play. And then this will go to my hand. I'm gonna draw a bunch of Necropotence too. I'm gonna pay a life, drop from that, and then exile face down, and then pay a life. So I'll do one, two, 11, 12. This will put me at 10 health. I'll go a little bit more. Also, I'm drawing off time. the paying a life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paying life. Yeah. That's, so that's right. why I'm putting one here and drawing the other. I, yeah. I draw first and then exile. 15. 15. What will that put me life wise? Seven? Yeah, seven. All right, so then all it bounces. I'm going to, again, go down to nothing on the stack. One man in my mana pool. I'm going to cast Words of Wind, which should pseudo end the game. Next time you draw a card this turn, each player uh, returns a permanent they control to their hand instead. I'm going to cast Sun Great Spoiling. Thing. That's like the one thing I can't respond to. <laughs> Split second. What the heck? Uh, I was not expecting that. Oh boy. If you do that while this is on the stack, I won't get any triggers. So it comes into play. They don't have any abilities. I'm going to cast Finale of Devastation for 10, 12 total mana. I'll get a creature, but then all my creatures will get plus 10, plus 10, haste till end of turn. I'll go get Teamer Sabretooth. Bounces the land in my hand. I have these eight dudes plus these dudes. I was torn on whether I should do Sudden Spoiling early, but I wanted to see if you would draw your deck and then I would just throw a wrench in your plans and you'd die on your next turn. <laughs> I almost was there. I only had 10 cards left, so I was like... Yeah, I was, I was hoping you'd do that, so I'd just make you draw your deck yourself. As you can probably tell, that was the first time I had both Kodama and Sakashima as Kodama out at the same time. At that point, you could sneeze and combo off. Also, Trade Routes is one of my favorite cards. Super underrated. For game two, Spencer's starting hand includes Bubbling Muck, Soul Ring, Exsanguinate, Heartless Summoning, Snuff Out, Witch's Cottage, and a Swamp. John's starting hand includes Cathar's Shield, Prying Blade, All That Glitters, Thought Vessel, Reliquary Tower, and Two Planes. Jason's starting hand includes Soul Ring, Prismatic Lens, Herald's Horn, Ulamog the Infinite Gyre, Encroaching Waste, Gyre Reach Sanitarium, and Sanctum of Ugin. Carlos' starting hand includes Crop Rotation, Overburden, Deadeye Navigator, Gingerbread Cabin, Rejuvenating Springs, an Island, and a Forest. Here we go! Draw for turn. I'll play Witch's Cottage. Comes in tapped. Then I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. Planes. Pass. Raw. Haunted Fengrath. Soul Ring. Prismatic Lens. Go. Draw for turn. Play a Forest. And pass turn. And tap and draw. Play a Swamp. And play Soul Ring. Cast Heartless Summoning. Oh, baby. Then I'll pass. You're not going to believe what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, this guy. Oh, no. He that. wasn't going Again? To pass. Lodestone Golem. And pass the turn. Actually, I will respond to that. Crop rotation. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go get a Misty Rainforest. And then fetch to get a Breeding Pool. Draw a card. Do a Gingerbread Cabin. I'll be done. Draw for turn. And I will cast Thran Dynamo and then pass the turn. Draw for turn. Two flames. Born Power Stone. Attack Carlos for two. Take it. And then pass. Upkeep draw. You know what's cooler than playing lands? Playing artifact lands. Dark Steel Citadel. Play Herald's Horn. Go to combat. Swing at. Carlos for five. Let's turn to Carlos. Go for turn. Play an island and play your favorite overburden. Best turn. Drop for turn. Cast Shieldred and return Swamp to <laughs> oh, my no. hand. Uh, then I'll play a Swamp. <laughs> then I'll pass the turn. That's my thought. Keep okay. Keys to the command zone. Planes. Play a Thought Vessel. I'll pass. Yay, goodbye, Lodestone Golda. I'm just, I'm pretty happy about that children right now, you know? I will pass the turn. What? How many cards are in your hand, Jason? Three. Called Whipping. I'm sort of there with you. Draw a card. I'll play Crucible of Worlds. Misty Rainforest for turn. Ching. And I'll be done after that. Untap and draw. Cast Doom Whisperer. I'll bounce that, and then I'm going to play it again. <laughs> and then I will cast Erebos for two. Oh, he does have Devotion. You're right. Duh. And then I'm going to hit... Jason for five. Jason will remember that. 
<laughs> That'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. I'll play Reliquary Tower. I'll cast Thran Dynamo as well. And then I will pass. Upkeep oh, draw. Play Chalice on four of the ever flowing variety. Pass the turn. Draw for turn to Misty Rainforest again. Get an island. Play Mana Vortex. <laughs> <laughs> on each person's upkeep, you sacrifice a land. I sacrificed an island to cast it. When there's no lands in play, then it's sacrificed. Pass the turn. At end step, I'm going to surveil two. Put them both in the graveyard. This will help surveil you guys. two again. Because Spencer's going to come at me to kill me, okay? So this will give you guys a shot. I'll put one on top, but then I'm going to surveil two. Surveil two. I think it's smart. This, um, this kind of sucks, actually. Surveil two. Really good spells going in there. No surveil way. Surveil two again. This is pretty crazy actually i don't want that creature necessarily <laughs> <laughs> surveil too what that's a great creature for you i'm gonna you do it dynamo to do that's it. why i made this deck so this comes into play this will Good. return to my hand totally helping you overburden is the best <laughs> <laughs> see i told you carlos is our enemy John. <laughs> and then you i'll draw you think i'm your enemy with all that stuff out there i'm gonna move combat and hit carlos for 14 and i'll play a swamp and I'll pass the turn. Five <gasps> Draw for turn. I will cast Sram this turn. And I'll bounce my planes. And then I will play my planes for turn. Ooh. So I'll cast Shite Kite Shield. Play the Felwar Stone. Got one floating. I will use that one to cast Prying Blade. Draw from that. So I will cast Black Blade Reforged. I'll cast Felwar Umbra on the Sram. Draw from that one. I'll cast the Cliffhaven Kite Sail. Draw from that guy. I'm gonna look with Harold's horn before I sacrifice a land. I'll sacrifice my crypt caves. And then I'll draw my non Eldrazi land. 10, 11. Cast Ulamog, the infinite Euro. He's everyone's favorite <laughs> Greek taco. Jaildred is going to be in danger. Killing your pseudo commander there, Spencer. <laughs> And then I have to return a land I control to my hand. I am going to sacrifice Sanctum of Ugin. I'm going to just return this to my hand. Sanctum of Ugin lets me search for a colorless creature card into my hand. No, it's better than one Ulamog. Ulamog. And then I will play the Encroaching Wastes for a turn. And I'll pass the turn to Carlos. I will sack the Gingerbread Cabin. I'll draw for turn. I'll play Forest for turn. We'll play the saddest Sakashima. Not copying anything. Bouncing a forest. Dang. I'm pretty sure I'm dead, but I don't want to just like give up, you know? So I'm going to have a blocker. But I'll pass turn. And turn, I'm going to sack Burnished Heart to get two swamps. And then I'll have to sacrifice one of them. Draw for turn. Play a swamp. Yeah. Cast Bubbling Muck. Four swamp mana from those two. Villas cost six. And yeah, I'll kill Carlos's commander. With the minus one, minus one, and I'll draw two in those two. And then I'm going to swing through the air at Jason for five. All right, and I'll pass the turn. Upkeep, I will sacrifice my Reliquary Tower. Draw for turn. A. Play the planes. Cast all the glitters on SRAM. Draw a card. Cast the Golem Skin Gauntlets. The equipped creature gets 1 0 for each equipment attached to it. Draw a card. I'll cast the Mesa Enchantress. Whenever I cast an enchantment spell, I draw a card. And then I'll bounce this one. I will cast Sigarda's Aid. Draw a card. I will cast for Soul Ring. I got the rocks, baby. It was 16 oh. just from the all that glitters. 22, 19. I will attack Carlos. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Yes. That was very unexpected. Untap. Herald's Horn. I'll put out a Sanctum of Eternity. I'm gonna tap three and cast Urza's Incubator. Um, I'm gonna choose Eldrazi, so they all cost three less to cast. I'll cast Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. I'm gonna get to exile two permanents on his cast trigger. I'm gonna choose All That Glitters, so guard his aid. And I'm gonna combat. John, I'm gonna come at you with Ulamog. So it's Annihilator four and just a 10. The rocks have lived their use, that's okay. And I will take the 10. Go ahead, Spence. Draw for turn. Play Witch's Cottage. Comes in untapped. Which means that I can put a creature card from my graveyard on top of my library. Shield Dread. I'm going to pay four life to cast Snuff Out for free. Targeting Mesa Enchantress. Alright, draw four cards. I'm going to cast Cabal Ritual. 
to add five black mana to my mana pool, which will let me cast Shieldred again. Cast Kozilek Butcher of Truth, because he costs four less total, and I draw four cards. 12 damage through the air, Jason. 18. And then I'm going to cast Shadow Spear. I'll pass the turn. And then John has to sack a creature. What's the fine print on totem armor and sacrificing? It says if it would be destroyed, so sacrifice does <laughs> not count. <laughs> I totally right. should have annihilated Spencer. I made Draw a mistake. Draw for turn. Play of planes. And then pass. Upkeep. I'm going to look at the top card of my library oh. off of Herald's Horn first before I decide what I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to it sacrifice uh, Ceaseless Hunger. Ugh. And for turn, the Greer Reach Sanitarium. Boop. Cast my commander. The seven. Cast Mystic Forge. Stack you, Spencer, with Olamog, the Infinite Euro. <laughs> Annihilate four things. Yeah. Those four things. And I'm blocking with Kozilek. It'll bounce off. Then I'll pass the turn. Who would have thought the Eldrazi would be fighting? Why can't we And then I get to return a creature card. Return Erebos. Play. And I'll draw for turn. Play Urburg. Tomb of Yogmoth. I'm going to cast Slaughter with buyback. Pay for life. Destroy target non black creature. That creature cannot be regenerated this turn. Pay for oh. life to buy back. Rula Mog, I mean. Because I made him not have Indestructible anymore with this. I'll shuffle my Eldrazi back in. I'm going to miss Then I'm going to cast Dark Ritual. Then I'm going to use Soul Ring to equip Kozilek with Shadow Spear. Right. Trample, Life Link, plus one, plus one. I'm going to cast Slaughter with buyback four again on your Kozilek now. Mm. I draw four from it. Then we'll move to combat, and I'm going to swing at you with my Commander and Kozilek. And I'm going to swing at John for six with Shieldred. Okie dokie. And then I'll gain 13. Uh, my turn? Yeah, I got to discard down. Draw for turn. Play and land. Just for fun, I'll cast into the vaults. So you get to pull all your enchantments and artifacts from your graveyard and put them on the battlefield. You just gave me the exquisite blood sanguine bond combo. For Spring Talisman? Oh yeah, I can tap that to gain a life. We'll just there. do that and end it. Cool. I didn't know <laughs> if I was going to be able to pull that off. That was awesome. Always remember to stacks at your own risk. Also, I don't want to be around for the next Eldrazi Civil War. Too much collateral damage. If you'd like to support our channel so we can continue to make videos like this, you can like this video, subscribe to our channel, use our affiliate link on TCG Player when you're buying singles, or come join the kingdom over at patreon.com slash kingdomstv. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.